I'm, 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 I, I hope so. I hope I'm explaining this right, guys and gals. But so you're saying, well, what if a client wants a copy of this like now? Like, why, why not send them a copy? Okay. I mean, I, I'm going to when I'm done. I'm going to hit email and I'm going to type in their email address and I'm going to send it to them. Or I'm going to email it to myself. And then when I get it, I'll copy the link because it's going to come in a link. And then, then I'll type it on a nice, pretty email or respond back to him on this one over here and email him the link. That way he has a copy of all the information. Um, this particular buyer, the wife um, thought it was pretty cool when I handed her a, um, a report on all the houses. So you can go here and you can go, um, uh, I'm, I'm tired, sorry. <sighs> Find save actions criteria. Uh, print. Uh, sorry, you hit the print email button, and you hit a single line. Print to PDF. It's not what I wanted. Why am I not getting what I want? Anyway, um, email print to PDF. Uh, property 360 view. There we go. Print PDF. I'm only doing that just so I can see. Okay. Now this is, um, this one's got the agent remarks. So oftentimes that may not be what I would give them. So what would you give them? Uh, you could do a um, client full photo or a client full or right here. Sorry, this is the one you would give them. I apologize, it's late. Click that client full, obviously the word client meaning them. Now, let me show you. It doesn't say print because it says, well, that's how you email it to them, type in their email. And then this is how you would print it and give it to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit print because I want to give her a copy of everything. So that's the list. And then this is every, all the information on the houses without the agent remarks. See, it just has the public remarks. Now am I getting somewhere? Good. And I apologize, I'm just a little tired. So hit black and white, cause I don't need it to be color. I could do two-sided, I think. I don't really, it doesn't really matter. I'll just do that, right, fine. Okay, so I'm Xing that because I don't need that anymore. I'm going back to the original tab. So back to results, it's printing. So Ryan, how do I schedule the appointments? That's all fine and dandy. Client's got the information. Well, another thing I wanna do is I wanna go through here and I wanna look at all the attachments on all the houses so I can get familiar with the house. Why? Because you need to be familiar with what you're showing, okay? Go back to agent single line display and then you can click on the next one and so forth and look at the attachments on the houses. I always look at the photos of each house and the um, attachments of each house because I guarantee you the client's gonna ask you questions before you get in the door and you've not seen that house before. So you're gonna be like, um, but if you get familiarized with the houses, there's only five of them. Wouldn't take me that long to be familiar with all of them. Sometimes if it's maybe maybe only one or two houses, I might even send the clients the attachment of each of the house before we even go out. And that'd probably be a good idea to do regardless. Just FYI, depending on how much time you have. He just told me about these showings and they're 11 o'clock tomorrow on a Sunday. It's Saturday night, pretty late. Um, to me, you should still do it. It's always about going above and beyond. It's not that much, and the commission is obviously gonna be pretty good on these size houses. So a little extra work would go a long way. Remember that, 100% doesn't get you paid. It's that extra 10% that gets you paid. So yes, I work 110%, um, usually more than that, but okay, so, Scheduling, that's what y'all wanted to know. Um, it's gonna come up as that um, because 
I didn't go back and click listing. So each, each one is gonna come up as an attachment. Remember that, please. So scan over with your mouse and hit listing, okay? I don't know why after do the directions, it always comes out blue, but that's still not stopping you. So I always read the agent remarks because that usually tells you how to show and it usually tells you what type or, or restrictions on showings. Just read the agent remarks, trust me. So always click the, the picture button, look at the pictures, look at the attachments and read the agent remarks. No showings until the open house on Saturday. Well, that, that Saturday's today. So I'm assuming that they're allowing showings tomorrow. So I'm gonna click request an appointment. Good old pen and paper on my directions, right next to the house picture. I'm gonna make my notes, schedule showing. Uh, Sunday at, he wanted to do it starting at 11. Well, they have it blocked off. So I either need to start at a different home or I need to tell him we can't start till 12. In this case, he already told me that if we can't start at 11, because he are, we have a, we've already shown him houses and he's already familiar with the process, he told me we could start at 12. So instead of altering my time guide or my directions uh, and, and, and having to kind of zigzag up and down, I'm gonna just start it at 12. Uh, showing, yes, it, so it starts at 12. Sunday the 6th, yes, tomorrow's the 6th. I just verified on my Apple computer. Uh, showing, yes, it is a showing. What, what would go here? Well, if you showed it for a second time, you would click that. Um, ending time, I, I usually try to do an hour because you never know. Uh, again, when you're scheduling appointments, you're gonna see, you can schedule, um, I, I try to schedule two an hour. So one every 30 minutes. Why? Because average time of someone being in the house is about 15 minutes. Average time of going to the next house is about 15 minutes. That's if you know, you got familiar with the directions on that directions page. I'm already familiar with the area. And then I looked I look down at the map and I saw that they're no, no, no more than 15 minutes apart. Another good reason why to get print off those directions. Okay, so my agent page printed off. And now I got a... Um, I got, well, I printed it on back and forth, but I've got um, the information for my client that she's going to be thrilled when I give her that. So anyway, request appointment, just click it. Okay. Uh, back to property listing, because it says done. It kicked me back on the wrong page. I might just take these pages out so it quits doing that because I don't need them anymore. Okay, now hopefully it'll stop doing that. Next, so I told you, just put them, uh, space them out every 30 minutes if they're in the relatively same area. Of course, if you have one in the Woodlands and then one in, in um, Houston or Channel View, then no, you can't do every two an hour because clearly that's about an hour drive between. So obviously common sense plays a part. I'm gonna write Edelway is from 12 to 12.30 and I'm gonna put a little W that says waiting for approval because the showing service did not give me the instructions or the go ahead yet. I'm sure they text the other, uh, the sellers, the showing service did, and the sellers just haven't responded because it is super late. Yes, they may get a text at 1049 PM on a Saturday night. That's not really my problem. The showing service is the one that does that. And this is the one I have time to set up the showing. Normally, I would say uh, try to do it 24, schedule your showings 24 hours before you have to show the house. Um, big reason for that is sometimes the showing requests a 24 or requires a 24 hour notice. Um, in this case, he, the client told me and I was already in the middle of appointments and I just didn't have time till just now. Um, agent remarks, co-agent, blah, 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 blah. Uh, she's telling you where to send offers. Um, surveys attached. So surveys attached, that would be a good thing to print out for your client because they might ask where the uh, easements are or they might want to build a pool and, they, and you need to know where the easements are. I don't see the, I don't see the survey. They said it was attached. And I was hoping to show y'all one too.
I just have offer instructions. I, I don't know why you would say attached and it's not attached. It's not. Okay, well, this isn't my listing, so don't, don't blame me. Um, where we are, number two. Go back to listing, remember. So survey is attached, it's not. So anyway, I'm gonna click the request an appointment. It's with the same showing service. Remember, there's different showing services. There's showing service or, or uh, Showtime, which used to be CSS. It got converted to Showtime. And there's HomeSmart, which is HAR's showing service, which is a free showing service, by the way. So you might want to click on your homepage. You might want to click. Um, you might want to click this showing smart right here. Um, it won't let me highlight it. And you might want to go ahead and um, click these training icons and get to learn showing smart because that is a showing service that you can utilize for your listings. So the agents would schedule through this instead of calling your cell phone and blowing it up. And it also keeps track of the agents that make the appointments and it also sends out automatic feedback. And by the way, show smart through HAR is free. FYI, that's what I started using. I used to use show, show this, this one, but the, um, the HAR one is free. Another thing to throw in your hat, schedule, and that's through HAR. This one is not, this one's an, a third party and you have to pay for it. It's like 40 bucks a listing. And then they started, and, and then they started recently starting charging $10 a month, even if you didn't have a listing with them, which I thought was a little, okay, uh, schedule the showing. Uh, tomorrow, um, these are already requested and they don't allow overlap. So I can't show this one till one o'clock. So again, probably another reason why I shouldn't have waited so long because I was going to do that one at 1230 and now I've got to stall till one. Um, so mm, I'll see how the other ones go. We might just have to grab a Starbucks in between. Um, this is kind of that why you have to kind of ad lib one, one, two, I'll do one I'll be polite since there's obviously going to be more agents trying to schedule it. So request appointment. I'll put a waiting because if it's like vacant and it's an automatic like approval, They'll, they'll, they'll usually just give it to you right now or they'll, it says request not yet confirmed. They'll, they would have just given it to me or they would just text me the instructions. Um, so what's gonna happen is once the seller gives the okay, then I'll get a text from the showing service and an email with the showing instructions like super front door or super front door dog in crate, be careful, or super front door alarm code is XYZ uh, alarm in laundry room. Make sure you reset that alarm before you leave, by the way. Okay, so that was uh, uh, Delt Field. And now I'm gonna go next. Um, same thing. Uh, schedule. I said, um, oh, okay, can wait. Nope, it I accidentally clicked. So 1.30, because my next one, I want to schedule 30 minutes after 1 o'clock. So 1.30 to 2. Conway, I just make sure. Okay, yes, yes. 1.30 to, um, no, I want to do to 2. Okay. You're seeing a trend here, aren't you? Now, um, Back to property. Okay. I'm trying.